Such a beautiful day. I just had to go for a walk. I sat having coffee trying to work out where I wanted to go. I just couldn't do it. So I'm just going to walk east and see where I end up. Could be anywhere. So we'll see where we go. This is the Heronry Pond in Monstead Park. I'm not going to say too much about Wanstead Park. I've written about it in my book, This Other London, because I think it deserves its own video at some point. So we'll make a whole video about Wanstead Park. It was once uh, the site of one of the largest palaces in Europe. Apparently it was bigger even than Blenheim. And uh, palace, large country house. And this is what remains. Here's another little taster of Wanstead Park. Ever since I got this GoPro, I'm desperate to get it wet. So it's going to go in the pond, in the perch pond in Wanstead Park. You can see these ruined brick foundations or brick buildings here in the woods. I love this kind of stuff because it's like the remains of an ancient civilization. But here, in this what's now scrubland, there was um, there was a water treatment works, which is not that exotic, I suppose. But there was a water treatment works, and I think there still is actually. I think the pipes are still here because you can smell the sewage uh, in the, over there through those trees. But there was also an isolation hospital here up until I think at least the 1950s. It's on my 1950s Geographia Atlas of London. They stuck these sort of isolation hospitals on the fringes of London. We're right near the North Circular Road here. And underneath the ground here somewhere was a nuclear shelter for Redbridge Council. I guess it must still be there. So here you can hear the water gushing underneath. It's obviously still like a water main running through here, a water treatment. Things like, like this, you see these moss covered relics poking up through the undergrowth. Maybe it's very redolent of a world of, of 1950s science fiction, you know, with secret government installations hidden in the suburbs. Okay, it may have been sewage treatment works, but I've got a vivid imagination. But this area was quite militarized during the war because it was on the bombing run into the docks for the Germans. So you had a lot of uh, anti-aircraft installations on Wanstead Flats. Uh, and there was a prisoner of war camp on Wanstead Flats as well which I believe I will have mentioned in my Once Live Flats video. I really love open spaces like this. This is a classic bit of what people would call edge land landscape between suburban housing over there. You've got the uh, North Circular Road, which you can probably hear behind the trees. And you have the pylons running over, the sort of remains of of buildings, of old buildings, crumbling in the undergrowth. And you've still got infrastructure running beneath the ground with the, with the water pipes that we can hear. It's really very fascinating and rich 
territories to explore. Between worlds, these kind of spaces, they link together the uh, domains that we usually and more habitually inhabit. Here's the river roading, chundling past. This is a really beautiful stretch actually when you walk towards the Thames from here. Well, the stretch between here and Ilford is really beautiful. But I'm not going to be lured that way today. Valentine's Park, Ilford. One of my favourite parks in London. This is another public park which was once the grounds of a large house that belonged to a wealthy city merchant. The house is actually still here, I might once did. It's over there. And if you're familiar with the television show, The Great British Bake Off, I think, that shot in the grounds of the house over there, they put like a big marquee up and they shoot there, or they have done anyway. is open to the public it's really lovely to go and have a look around but only uh, I think Tuesdays and Sundays peculiar this is really lovely it's the little cottage garden attached to the house now it's obviously open to the public I may not uh, include too much Valentine's Park in this video because I made a film here with my friend Nick Pabdimitrio when we did our radio show Adventures and Adventures in Topography and we did an episode on this park and on Ilford and uh, there's a film on my channel here in this park um, so I'll link to that below and I'll link to the other videos I've mentioned this is a really beautiful place all year round Valentine's Park it was written about by the one of my favourite London writers Thomas Burke great topographical writer he loved Valentine's Park. He hated Ilford, but he loved Valentine's Park. 